research so we are going to hear from um, Juan Pablo Ruiz Nicolini about the uh, opening up the data for the and the processes of the public tourism statistics in Argentina. Um, yeah, Juan Pablo, you can just take it from here. Okay, thank you. Uh, I I didn't realize that uh, when they emailed me, it says that I was going to speak in, in English. Uh, if there are no if some of you is only English speaking, I can try to do my best and do it in English, but the slides are in Spanish. It's okay? Okay, I, I'll try to do my best. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, my name is Juan Pablo Ruiz Nicolini. Everyone called me Tucumano, that's my handle on Twitter. Uh, I am from Tucumán province at the north. Uh, I am in charge of the National Tourism Statistics Office. Uh, and I am trying to tell you very, very fast what things we we done like uh, for two years or a little more. Uh, I don't know how this works, like this. Okay, the computer. This. Uh, okay, when we arrived, basically our our office was in charge of two main things, like. Uh, getting basic statistics of, of, of the tourism sector, then working with the National Institute of Statistics and uh, with the United Nations office recommendations, uh, following up some public records of, of the economy and the sector, uh, the tourism sector in, in the economic activity, and doing some impact evaluation of, of the tourism policies. Uh, the office was uh, and also uh, working with the sub-national units, the provinces and municipalities that are very important because of the territoriality of, of tourism. Uh, and this was the image that we had when, when, we, when we arrived to the office, like in, in the middle of the pandemic that was very special for tourism. Uh, when the Minister Lamens uh, called us to, to work in the office, we, this was the picture we, we had. Uh, a lot of work with, uh, I, I think it, it, when, when we look at the national government offices that work with data and statistics, it, it's like a, a, big, a big team, like, like 15 people. But mostly all of them were working uh, on, on their own computers with Excel files and like all, all school of, of data, in a sense. Uh, this is like the image of, of, the, of the office when we arrived. Like every people, each one was working in a particular use case of tourism and, and then collecting data and uh, some wrangling, and then they have like final reports on PDF. Our proposal and what we are doing right now is like this modernization, in a sense. Uh, we add this, I'm sorry for the Spanish if you don't understand. Uh, the, the data team, uh, we, we start like a data team that consists in, uh, mostly on, on generating scripting and, and pipelines to, to automatize things. And, and the second important thing we think we done uh, was creating this whole communication stuff. When, when, I, when I show the, this image is people grab the data, uh, wrangle that, uh, and publish some PDFs, and nobody had access to uh, outside the office for the for the data unless they asked for it. The the team was always okay to share it, but it was like very passive way. This new workflow imp implied like connecting those teams that were working separately and opening the the whole process to the public. Not only the data, but also the process uh, behind the data generating and a whole bunch um, of dashboards and stuff that I'll show you. 
Here's where Cinta, the Sistema de Información Turística de la Argentina, the Argentinian Tourism Information System, uh, was born. And the Cinta mostly consists on the, the old stuff, these PDFs and, and press reports about the data that we work. We maintain that, uh, like a small, uh, how do you say, uh, a new face, but it's mostly, mostly the same thing. And then, uh, uh, little stuff. This is the, f the first time we published the, the official official numbers of tourism in Argentina, like th in the participation of the economy. This is basically the United Nations recommendation. And this year we finished that. And the, like the old phase of the tourism office activity. And, but we start opening more and more spaces to share the same data for different publics and thinking about which are the publics that are consuming the, that data. We create this library to publish uh, uh, research documents and methodology and some of the stuff we work da daily at office. Then we open this blog, a uh, like more informal place to, to to share the, the daily work. Uh, we are working on a, on a new project with this dashboard to check the uh, hotel's national registry for the first time. And there we explain for a wide audience what are we doing, not only a technical documentation, but, but for the general public. Then we build a, a lot of dashboards and try, trying to open and open the access for this data for, for a, a wide public, not only reading the, the PDFs and that uh, our interpretation of the tourism, but uh, to allow the public to interact with that data and, and, and create their, their own data sets and download them uh, without having a technical skill or being a, a programmer or so. They don't need to interact with an API, but they can interactively uh, uh, work with those dashboards and download data. We have for uh, a lot of things like uh, the airplanes mar market, the hotels, uh, some stuff to, uh, to, uh, to, to share the investment news or investment opportunities or, or, or a little app to create uh, touristic maps without knowing anything about GIS or programming and so. Then we had that lower level uh, of, of sharing that is uh, we are using the, the sec second, uh, second a API system and we are sharing a lot a lot of data when we arrive to to the office the this uh, portal also exists with only <laughs> I was speaking with the guys recently and uh, we had only three data sets that someone put there when when we when they open because of the directive of, of the ministry uh, but the IT guys had the portal and they have like three little excels there. And when we arrive to the office, we say, OK, that's ours. We are going to keep that. And we start opening all, all this stuff that was living on, on the staff machines. We were curating them, uh, cleaning it, wrangling it. And then we start uh, sharing this information. We make a, another yeah, more, more, more little, little websites to, to put order on that chaos that we that we found when we arrived there. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll skip this, the, the little bots and, and did this kind of stuff to share uh, for a wide on audience all the, the production. Uh, we start, and th th this was very important for us, okay. Uh, wrapping up, uh, we found this uh, isolated workflow with, with the people in each machine, then we make this uh, putting all together and, and sharing, sharing the information not only between the workers at the office, but also outside the office. And the other major thing we've done is working with the subnational units. As I said, it, it's very uh, 
there, there's a lot of variation uh, down downside <laughs> how to say that uh, in the in the provinces and municipalities how they work how they deal with with data so we build some some pieces of software and some stuff to to help uh, put on a, on a common ground uh, how we speak and what we speak about tourism in Argentina uh, we also work on 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 some ed education, okay, like a, a project where we uh, transfer some knowledge how we do things uh, with the provinces, and this was like uh, the how do you say this, like classes for data science to Excel Excel users. It's like the small offices of tourism in each province are doing a, a, some work analogous as we are doing, um, but they have less uh, tools than we have. So we try to share some, some knowledge and some transfer some knowledge for, for the provinces and municipalities. And we are developing uh, software to put all, all this data um, that each province is generating in, in a common uh, I am very nervous with my English. <laughs> uh, in, in, in a common, like. Eh? Okay, uh, armonizar, armonizar, eh, armonizar, que es lo que compartimos. Que estemos hablando siempre del mismo concepto, de las mismas unidades de análisis. The same analysis units. I don't know. Uh, okay, and um, what's behind all of this? Uh, okay. We. We run version control. We, yes, okay, five minutes. We run a lot, lot of version control. Remember, people was working with Excel on, on their own machines, and they barely share between between them all, all those files. Now these same people is working with with Git and making version control and software development. We are making this uh, literate literate program. Uh, we we are run all, all these PDFs. Uh, so PDFs that we still publish, they are they are they are run uh, with scripting, and the same people that was working on Excel <laughs> is doing these things. Uh, we are docu documenting all these processes, and we are opening uh, repos with with all the source code of these processes, and we are working on sharing the knowledge we are we are getting. We we are learning while doing. And we share it all the time. That our, our main main mission is to to, to share it f to for every every people interest in in this little things we can achieve now. But uh, publishing all that we can, uh, and then we are doing all this for for the daily daily work. And we are learning how to develop our own software and sharing it. So other offices, we, we are aware that there are some other offices at, at the national government that are dealing with uh, problems similar to the one we found when we arrived. Uh, so we decide to open all the software we can develop so other offices can have like an example and adapt to their own needs. This is very hard. I can speak English for a long time. Uh, uh, okay, and we have some. These are we are all uh, non-programmers at the office. I am a political scientist. The guys that uh, came with me at first, the like, sociologists and an economist, that work with data, and we we didn't know anything about tourism, and we lean on the specialists that were at the office when we arrived and they are a great team that love to to learn these things uh, at the same time we were learning about tourism so it was like a very good uh, thing to do and we are standing on shoulder of giants uh, we are air programmers social scientists air programmers and we are doing all this stuff all what we are publishing the the dashboards the secan interaction the the little software we are developing uh, it's everything around that uh, i will be love to answer any question of 
what you may didn't understand of this awful speech. <laughs> Uh, and that thing, that, that's all. Thanks very much. Do we have, oh, that's very loud, sorry. <laughs> Do we have questions in the room? Oh, uh, we'll start here. <laughs> in español, igual así. I'll do my best. <laughs> no, yo, yo quiero saber cuál fue como la, la estrategia para eh, invitar a aquellas personas que siempre se manejaron con Excel y solo ha sido Excel y a veces tienen mucha reticencia a aprender otro lenguaje u otras cosas y se quedan en su, en su margen. ¿Cuál fue como esa motivación o la estrategia para llegar a, bueno, R, un lenguaje de programación y llegar a un control de versiones? Quiero saber el secreto. <laughs> Uh, I'll try, sorry, to Lucy translate the question. Um, please, the Spanish speakers in the room, complete my translation. So basically what she's asking is how did you manage um, what to... Was the what was the motivation for people that use Excel? That use Excel to move to... to programming and doing... Exactly, and more reproducible sort of like ways to work. Yes. And what was the second part of the question? That was it. <laughs> okay. Sorry for What's the loose translation. What's the secret? <laughs> What's the secret? Uh, I, I think that uh, it, there's no secret. It was like um, being being there and, and give, give the opportunity to to ha and have the space to develop their new skills for them. And uh, and the selling point was only only that. This it was saying we we have to move on. We have to do new things. We have to. Uh, to minimize the dependency on, on people because uh, each people had only one role at the office and were very specialist. So uh, my speech was we have to, to, to lower that dependency, we have to work uh, more collaborative and we have these tools that we are used to, we are used to me and two guys that come with me when we are at the office and say, we are going in that direction and we we love that you come in, in the same direction we will do our best to and put our effort so you can learn this mainly i think that there is a secret it's you can learn this in office hours so there were some office hours during the week that we have this was the the illustration this is on jueves is thursdays Okay. This was Thursday mornings, from 9 a.m. a.m. to 1 p.m. We have four full hours working in something with R. So you're going to have this for free. That was the selling point. But I, I think it was like, like a, a marketing selling. It, it was not that. Not, people is not going to change all the the whole way they work because of this. But this was like the. I think like the message we we are we are on to put our personal effort and leave the the office uh, obligations for a while so you can grab this and go the same path we are thinking of. Yes. I think you need for the video. I want this. Video. Oh yes, you're you're right. Um, uh, do you think you got to a point where this this awesome thing you did is going to keep going even if the administration can't changes? Do you think you get to that point? And if you don't, or if you do, what's the key to get yes. to that point? Uh, thank you. Uh, it, I think it's a very important question for me because I think the, this is the main the the main goal I have today. The administration probably going, going to change in a while, uh, and I think there are a few things that uh, ensure uh, that these things, most of these things, are going to 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 hold on, on, on time, uh, mainly because of, of because we are subir la vara. How do you say that? Okay, we are raising the bar because we are documenting things. We say we do all this stuff that didn't exist two years ago, and this is how you can do it. And there, are, there is some public de uh, demanding that uh, there is someone that is consuming this, and 
it has no cost. You, you, you know how you can do it, and, and there's, there's, no, there's anything that is uh, problematic in what we are doing, I think, uh, politically. So uh, I think it, it's costless to maintain it, and the, the team, and that's why I think that is important, uh, the team uh, know, know how, how to maintain this. And we are working on that, that each, each people can know of, uh, of every process. Perhaps they are not experts in every process, but they know about every process and they can go to the documentation and they can learn for, uh, from the others. So I hope that it will maintain and, uh, and we are working with that uh, as a goal. We want to, to raise the bar so they can clean this when we finish. We have one question there and there, and yeah, we'll need to move fast. Um, so you implemented a lot of tools and technologies. Was there any point where you realized maybe you added one too many tools and it was too complicated of a stack? And was it hard to sort of simplify after you'd crossed that line? It's, it's, a, it's a great question. Uh, yes but they are not here. <laughs> Those things are not here. Now, now yes, uh, many, many times it, 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 uh, I, I thought about that, and perhaps for some of, of the people in the team, it was too much, and we had to, to stop and think again, and we were, it, it, it was not only uh, always straightforward. We, we had to stop and, and make uh, some changes and decisions about the, the role of each participant in the process. Uh, but I, I think it's something that, that is dy dynamic. When, when we were like pointing very, very, very far, and then we, okay, stop and we go backwards. Uh, but when I see the results, how people is working, people at the office is working with this, I, I think we, we are in a good path. Maybe we, we had to make some adjustments, but I think, uh, uh, it, it was like scary, but it flows. I don't know why. M maybe it's a little miracle, but it, it's, a, it's a lot of stuff. There are people that only work with Excel working with Git. It was like... How many people? Like 15. Oh, okay. The, this repo is the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This is on production repo. This is the, the office repo. Uh, here we are 15 with two me's, so 16. And here we are five. On production, only five people has a privilege. And so he, they can break things here. And we work like that. <laughs>